Hi, my name is Jen, and this is Elijah. This is going to be our Mommy and Me bedtime routine. So enjoy this little special series of what we like to do at night before we go to bed. We hope that you enjoy it, and we challenge you to do it as well. Notice how the body starts to feel better, and the, your sleep is much better when you're all nice and stretched out. You don't want to move too fast, but just take it nice and slow. So laying the baby down, Eli is about, he's almost three months old, so he's been doing this with me for a while now. So you can grab your baby, or if you don't have a baby, if you're one of the Sweet Dreams children, you can get your favorite stuffed animal and do this with your favorite stuffed animal as well. So we're going to start off in Downward Facing Dog. So your hands will go about shoulder width apart. You'll tuck the toes under, and then press up and back. So you're in an upside down V, and once you get here, you can start to walk the dog, pedaling the feet back and forth. And then you can look at your baby, or look at your stuffed animal, and say hello, Elijah, I love you. And maybe they're going to want to talk back too. So getting that nice deep stretch, stretching it out, and then take the, come back into stillness. And then take your right leg all the way up towards the sky. So all the way up as high as you can. Lifting it up nice and high. <coughs> Bless you. Utsuro. That is Russian. And lifting it up nice and high. Stretch it up. And then step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. So you want to lift it way up there to the outside of the hand. And then slide the left leg back. Bring the left knee down to the ground. Keep your left hand on the ground, then take your right hand to the inside of your right thigh. Once you're there, lift the, big, the right big toe up off the mat. Inhale, lift, and then look over your right shoulder and stretch. Get a nice little spinal twist here. And when you're doing this, press the right thigh away. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, twist and look back over the right shoulder. Take another big breath in. Big breath out. Come back to center. Bring your right hand down to the ground. Bring your right big toe back to the ground. And then see if you can come down to your forearm. And once you're here, you can say hi to the baby. Hi. How are you doing down here? You having fun? I love you. Engaging the core, sucking the core in, and just allowing for the body to surrender more and more. You should feel a nice stretch in your left hip flexor, and then in the right thigh, in the right hip. Breath in and out through the nose, and then maybe you can even get low enough to give your baby or your stuffed animal a little kiss. And then coming back to the hand. Curling the left toes under, step the right foot back to meet the left, and press up and back, downward facing dog. Take a moment and pedal it out one more time, shifting those hips from side to side, and then take the left leg to the sky, stretch it up as high as you can, lifting it up nice and high. Take a big breath in, stretch it up. And then step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Slide that right leg back. Right knee comes down to the ground. Left hand to the left thigh. So again, the left big toe will pop up off of the ground. And you'll be on that pinky toe side edge. As you, length, as you inhale, lengthen. And then as you exhale, twist and look over the left shoulder. Take a big breath in, lengthen. And then as you exhale, twist and look a little bit further. Breathing in and out through the nose. Another inhale. And another exhale. Coming back to center. Coming down, bring the left big toe down, coming down to the forearms. And just hanging out one more time, saying, Hi. Oh, yes. Tell us more. Tell them more. 
You having fun here? Mm-hmm. Breathing. And again, you can feel that now in the right hip flexor and then on the outside of the left thigh. And then you can even open up that thigh if you want to a little bit, the knee towards the ground, or you can keep that foot on the ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then coming up again onto the hands, taking the left foot back to meet the right foot. Rocking forward, engage the core. We're going to come into upward facing dog. So you're going to lower halfway down. Kiss your baby. And then lift the heart so you can see my thighs are lifted up off the ground. My heart is lifted. Take a big breath in. And then press up and back into downward facing dog. Big breath out. And then slowly walk your feet up. Take them to the outside of the blanket or the outside of your baby or stuffed animal. Bring your hands to your shins and take a big breath in into a halfway lift. And then exhale, fold in half. And then inhale, come forward, halfway up, keeping those legs nice and straight, giving the baby a little tickle. And then here, as your legs, bringing the feet to the outsides of the yoga mat, coming on to the toe, so in the balls of the feet, keep the legs nice and straight here, and now point your heels out and your toes in. Keep lifting the glutes to the sky, and then grab a hold of the baby's feet or the, the knees, and gently pedal the legs back and forth. So this here will help with gas. So if you're anything like me, I noticed that Eli gets more gassy in the morning than he does um, at like any other time of the day. He gets pretty gassy during that time. Uh, so before bed, just allowing for all that food that we've been eating all day to move around, shift around. And getting it all worked out. And then even bringing both legs up and bringing the knees towards the chest just nice and gently sometimes. You might let out a little fart or something too. Not right now. This really helps for their gas. And pedal those feet. And then bringing your hands, bringing their feet into your hands. Bring their knees onto the outsides of the ribs. And then gently shift the hips from side to side. This is called happy baby. If you were to grab a hold of your big toes here, and it was you in your baby's position, you'd be in happy baby. There we go. So see baby gets a little bit of yoga in there too, a little bit of stretches. And then we'll slowly bring the hands back, heel, and heel toe the feet closer together, about hips distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, fold in half. Bring the hands back behind the calf muscles, suck the stomach in, and draw the chest towards the thigh. Beautiful. Take a breath here, in and out through the nose. And then soften the knees. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, stretch up. Right hand grabs a hold of the left wrist. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Switching sides. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Stretch all the way up. And then exhale all the way back down. Notice that you couldn't see me there, so sorry about that. Take another breath in halfway. And then exhale, fold in half. Halfway lift. Keep the right foot exactly where it's at. But now take the left foot and just step it back. Take it back. The left foot should be at about 10, 11 o'clock if you are looking at a clock. Right leg is nice and straight. We're setting up for pyramid. Inhale, halfway lift over the right leg. And then exhale, fold all the way down. So the chest comes to the thigh, the forehead towards the knee. Take a breath in and out through the nose. If you've got your balance here, and only if you've got your balance, especially with the baby, you can interlace the fingers and take the hands to the sky. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Slowly release, 
Hands come down, step back, downward facing dog. Rock forward to a high plank. Slowly lower, kiss the baby, and then lift your heart to the sky. Take a big breath in here, and then exhale, press up and back, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Slowly walk your feet to the top. Take your feet about hips distance apart, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, ground down, sweep the arms all the way up. And exhale, forward, fold. Halfway lift. Keep the left foot where it's at. Step the right foot back. So now your right, your right foot is pointing the toes towards about two, three o'clock over there. Your left foot is just pointing towards 12. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold over the left leg. Breath in and out through the nose, breathing. And again, if you've got more, interlace the fingers and take the hands to the sky. Getting that nice deep stretch in and out through the nose. And then slowly releasing the hands, bringing the hands back down to the ground. Step the left foot back. Rock forward to a high push-up. Lower down. Give the kiss. Lift the heart. And press your hips high. Bring your knees down to the ground. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Knees are underneath the hips. Lift the glutes, lift the crown of the head, take a big breath in, and then exhale and round the spine. Inhale, arch, and exhale, round. Three more, arch, and round. Last time, arch, and round. Coming back to neutral, bring the right hip, right shoulder towards each other, and then the left. Just stretching the spine. And then come back to neutral, bring the Feet cross them behind you, draw the feet out in front of you. And then here is where we can get into a little bit more with baby. So we're gonna take baby and flip the baby over to the belly. You wanna get onto your belly and show them tummy time. Tummy time is so important, especially for this age right here. And so we'll just flip him right on over. Stretch out his little legs. And then I will take my legs nice and wide here. Moving that out of my way. Taking the legs nice and wide. And then giving baby a little massage. There you go. You can see him lifting up his head. And gets a little massage. And at the same time, I'm flexing my feet back. I'm lifting my heart and I'm leaning forward. So you can tell I'm not rounding forward, but I'm leading with my chest. My core is strong here and my back is nice and straight. It doesn't matter how far you get down to the ground. It matters if you feel a stretch. And look at Eli. Yay! He's doing so good. You're doing so good lifting that neck up so high. Look at you go. Yay! So great how at such a young age, too, they respond to positive reinforcement. And no matter where you're at today of who you are, if you're a new mom like me or if you're a mom for a long time, 
is noticing just how much positive reinforcement means to a child or even to those who you're close with, whether it's a friend. So if this is a sweet dreams child, maybe encouraging your friends and seeing how much of an it, how much it does for your guys' friendship. Then you can just let them have that little time here. And then you can also bring the feet together, coming into butterfly pose. Take a big breath in, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, start to fold over one more time. And you can keep doing those little massages. Good job, Eli. Massaging all the way down the spine, all the way to the glutes, to the outside of the hips. Give that little baby massage. Mm-hmm. Pat their little booties. Take another big breath in. Big breath out. Deep inhale. And deep exhale. Stretching the arms a little bit further. Take another inhale. Another exhale. And then slowly give those little feet these kisses. Coming back up. Coming back. Gently picking the baby up, your baby, turning them around and giving them a nice big hug. Good job. Thank you so much for joining us this evening, and we hope that you enjoyed this and enjoyed your